fallout uh, following a wild scene at a Glastonbury Board of Education meeting. Two people arrested after the meeting came to blows. Now, friends and family of the man seen throwing a punch are rallying in support of him. Fox 61's Carmen Chow live in Glastonbury with what they're calling for. Carmen. Front Engine, this protest has been taking place for over an hour now, and it looks like things are starting to wrap up. It's actually been taking place in front of Ray McFall's home. He is one of the board members who was involved in the fight. Friends and family of Mark Finicaro, who organized this protest, believe McFall is not aware this would be taking place today. Organizers of this protest are encouraging McFall to resign from the Board of Education after that meeting gone wrong. Why are you swearing at a citizen? Why are you? Whoa! 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 Are you insane? Both McFall and Finicaro were arrested and have been charged with breach of peace by Glastonbury police and have been released. They are both due in court next month. This meeting took place in December over a meeting about the high school mascot. Things got heated after a break was called, and that's when the fight broke out between the two. Supporters of Finicaro speaking to Fox 61 on the message they want to send. He's an elected official. He's supposed to have more self-control than that. He was a heat-seeking missile coming at Mark, who is sitting in the audience. Ooh, the Board of Education is not addressing this. Uh, it's unfortunate that they're not. Uh, with a student, uh, there would be no, no question. The student would be would be punished for this kind of thing. We think that, you know, Ray needs to do the honorable thing and step down. This and this has been a peaceful protest so far, and we have not seen McFall. I did also reach out to the Board of Education for their response to this protest, and I am still waiting for a reply back. I'm live in Glastonbury, Carmen Chow, Fox 61 News.